of how I got the nickname of white girl with wolf eyes. So I was in a situation like this about two years ago, doing about the same thing, got really fucking chick hand, and decided I was going to drive home. And yeah, right? Drove all the fuck all over town because apparently I forgot where I lived. <laughs> and got about like 10 blocks away from home and the cops, being the great gentlemen that they are, pulled me over and decided to remind me that I did not have my headlights on after driving around for a half an hour. And they asked me after I rolled out my window like, hey, you know, you don't have your headlights on. Have you been drinking tonight, madam? And in response, I said, oh, thank you, officer, for showing up, because clearly I am up to no good. They opened up my car door, and I fell out into traffic in Saddle Creek, just toppled the fuck out of the car. They scooped me right the fuck up, threw me on the sidewalk, and decided to do the field sobriety tests. <laughs> and I was like, no, like I can't, I can't even, no, like I'm hugging their squad car like it's my best friend, like, you want me to, what, I don't even alphabet right now, like, you even, what? I spoke Qbert to them, like, literally, just fucking gibberish, and asterisks, and fucking accuracy, and just fucking, and they're like, okay, okay, fine. Yeah, you're under arrest. You're drunk. Congratulations. And I was like, sweet! I don't want to be upright right now. Like, I'm drunk. I just don't want to be upright. Like, just fucking handcuff me, throw me in the car. I don't give a fuck right now. And they were like, okay, hold on. We have to call a lady officer. And I was like, why? Why? And they're like, well, she has to search you. And I'm like, I just really want to sit. I'm too drunk to even, like, handle life right now. And they were like, well, hold on, we're going to have you do a breathalyzer right now. Okay, sweet, I'll do a breathalyzer, let's do a breathalyzer, like, fucking, mm. And they were on it, too, like, they were, like, literally doing, like, the fucking frat boy, like, chug, chug, chug thing, but it was like, blow, 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 blow! And I blew a glorious point two nine. Woo! <laughs> So, the lady officer shows up, and she's about, like, boop high. She's about boop wide, and looks like a fucking English bulldog. And she slams me up against the car like she has no fucking discretion for any, like, life at all. Like, she just, bah! And just digs up into my pants. Like, she's, like, searching for, like, snatch gold, goes fucking wrist deep in my business. And I'm wearing pants that I couldn't even like smuggle a saltine cracker in, but she just had to. <clears throat> Decides I'm clean. They slam me in the car. They handcuff me. You know, whatever. Fucking. And they start driving. And me, being the little shit dick that I am, I sneak my handcuffs over my feet and pull them up in front of me and pull my cell phone in my pocket and try and sneak a picture. Because <laughs> I have to Facebook. I have to fucking document. And the whole fucking dashboard, the, both cops light up in the snapshot. And I was like sitting there like trying to Facebook when they like were like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and like they pulled the phone away from me and they're like, what are you trying to do? And I was like, well, just, just you know, and they're like, do you know what it says? And I was trying to say salutations from the back of a squad car, but it literally read congratulations from a squad or a squash cart. <laughs> and they deleted it and confiscated it and oh, my bad, sorry. They took me into the Police, you know, wherever the fuck the police take you when you go to jail. I was too drunk to even fucking remember. You're just like, where am I? And once again, got breathalyzed. And then they're like, okay, you're free to go. And I was like, they just like literally released me like a majestic fucking newborn deer. Like, okay, I'm out in the public. I didn't know where to go. And I had to pee so bad. Like, I knew. 
never had a piece of that in my life. I literally got lost in the fucking, like, police headquarters and was just wandering around in this, like, gridlock of, like, cubicles, like, going, where the fuck, like, just wandering in and out of hallways, like, lost at 2 o'clock in the morning for, like, an hour until I finally found a bathroom. And then I finally found a phone, and apparently I was like literally standing in front of the front office, like the front desk, and was like talking to some secretary that was right next to me that I didn't realize that we were on the phone together, like, where am I? And then walked out the front door, scooped up, got a ride home. But then I got put in jail, like shortly thereafter. I thought like I was just gonna go to jail that night, and I was, Ready. I was so ready. Like, I'm gonna cross this off my bucket list. I'm gonna get shit done. It'd be like the cable TV thing. Like, fuck it. But, no, I, I had to sit on it for a month. Went to court. The day after my birthday. Hung over as fuck, standing before a judge. Sentenced me to jail. Okay, cool. Whatever. Went to jail and thought it was gonna be like some like you know hardcore t like cable TV bullshit like mm, Orange is the New Black or like that other fucking cable TV show where they have all the crazy ass like fucking prison shit. No, it was like a bad sleepover. It was like the worst sleepover ever because it was just a bunch of women like sitting around bitching about how they're bored, doing each other's hair, and complaining about boys. <laughs> I just, and I made a rule when I was in holding before they finally put me in like jail that I wasn't going to talk to anyone with a neck tattoo. And I had no front teeth and wasn't a white girl with cornrows. Like I wasn't going to talk to those people. And I didn't have a single motherfucker to talk to. And I was just like sitting with my face pressed up against my cell window, like staring out to like the holding area, just like dead blank stare. Not even paying attention, like not even caring, just dead blank stare. And I heard someone yelling and screaming and finally like I like realized that I was actually staring at some lady that was sitting out in the free area and she was like, what you looking at white bitch? What you doing? <laughs> And like got all angry as fuck and was screaming at me, throwing out every nasty name she could think of. And like, I was on the second floor in the cell block. And she was like, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. And I was like, oh, okay, come at me. She had a broken leg <laughs> in a wheelchair. <laughs> I got released later that day. She also was getting released. And uh, so they took me down into the basement. I had me in handcuffs. They were like getting ready to take me off and let me go. And she happened to be there at the same time. And she's getting wheeled out. She's in handcuffs too, handcuffed to her wheelchair. And we lock eyes as we're getting into separate vans. And she's sitting there going, white girl with wolf eyes. And then fell out of her wheelchair again. <laughs> But yeah, that's my story. I thank you guys. We made a part, that was awesome. Hey, I know jails.